Ooh, cool. Like, I just want to, before we start, just acknowledge like how great the stories we've heard tonight have been really good. You know? um, I don't think any of the stuff is like easy to deal with. Uh, depression and existentialism. Wondering what we're doing here. Like, I think that's really brave and like you are oh, God. Um, and uh, Lufuno, like close encounters with death. That's like I could tell my own, but I won't because I'm not going to jack your old stories. Um, but yeah, like it's it's a really profound experience to go through. And um, George, you, my dude, you dealt with everything in life. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I can follow that up. So I'm just going to talk about the one and only time my friends and I um, were happy about the fact that we saw the police. <laughs> Okay, so we're walking out of Pig and Swizzle in Cape Town on on the bus. Yeah, this is where this happened. And we go to Steers, right? And um, all of us order the good guy burgers because all of us are broke, obviously. Um, and some of us are with our boyfriends. Um, and this dude like bought like a house properly. <laughs> He was like a Shrek in Carnage. He walks past and he does this ridiculous fucking obscene act. And he looks at the woman that we're with. And he's like... <laughs> These things can skate. Guys, we don't, we don't have to escalate this. This guy is stronger than all of us sitting at this table. But now, nah, I've got a friend, Vuyo, and I've got a friend, Nolan, and I've got a brother, who's younger than me, fuzzy, chowing on a good guy burger, looking for a fight for the last three weeks. <laughs> Fuzzy's chowing on his burger like this. Is our dorsal in a chip? Is our dorsal in a chip? Who <laughs> was like, no, are you gonna let him like, do that to your girlfriend? Does Nolan not stand up and do his belt? And then decide, as this guy's walk past and cross the road, swing his bark like this. This motherfucker decides to come back. I'm like, fuzzy, chill. He's a dose in the As fuzzy gets to him, he's still asking questions. He's like, what the fuck is your problem? This guy doesn't have time for words anymore. Bam! My little brother's on the floor. I'm like, okay, cool. I have to fight now, obviously. My little brother's on the floor. Guys, I learned I cannot fight. I had techniques plotted out, going through my brain, and hitting every motion the exact way I plan to execute it, right? So I'm like, okay, fine, hit him on the ridge of the nose, get on top of him, and make sure some blood comes out of something. <laughs> three of them. One, two, three. This chap the whole time. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Turns around, punches me, somehow my shirt is off and I'm on the floor. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I think these were brothers from up north, like, because we got shortchanged by that Khoisan, like, that Khoisan gene, you know, yeah, for Eastern Cape, and, you know, the Western Cape there. But, uh, somehow, there are a ton of dudes now downstairs, and we're in this, right? And we're just getting fucked up, like, probably, this lasted maybe about, I'm sure at maximum, three minutes. <laughs> it felt like an eternity. Right? We're getting, dude, we're getting pummeled. Like, my one boy, like, Mark, yes, he's so, oh, by the way, Vuyo, who, like, told Nolan, yo, dude, he can't talk to you, girl, like, Vuyo's nowhere. <laughs> no one knows where the fuck Vuyo is. Okay? So what happens is that like my boy Mark decided to take a piss around the corner and then turned around the corner and found his friends being beaten up and obviously he's like, ah, oh, I'm white. I must have some protective shield on me because these guys who are all huge, 
like won't touch me. What the fuck are you? <laughs> we thought he got hit by a car because I saw a car going by. Carlos Govern is dragging him by the face, getting him off the road, right? At this point, Carla gets livid and she's like, actually, fuck this, I'm getting in. And she jumps in, she jumps on this dude's back, like the, the Shrek dude. And um, this dude literally just like drops her, like, like it was nothing, like drops her, like property. And then, like, our friend Tangi um, runs out, and she's like, yo, guys, whoa, whoa. Tandy gets slapped by one of these dudes. Her glasses are on the floor. All I can hear is, Guys, I can't see! I can't see! None of us can, Tandy. <laughs> this really hurts all of us. Boy Andile, like famous face in Beto. Uh, love that nigga. Only dude I'd fight with again, although I'll never fight again. Um, decides he's gonna choose the lightest skinned niggas in this group. He's like, yeah, I'm going for that nigga. Throws the slowest headbutt you've ever seen in your life. Probably on some. <laughs> Tony the whole time. <laughs> yes. Dude literally catches his head and throws him to the surprise man. So this Carla thing happened, right? Like where Carla get tossed on the floor. And my my little brother, who I was like, dude, don't do this, right? Like is the one who's like really taking like taking the beating, right? And um he sees this happening to Karma, who's his best friend. And she thinks that somehow in his mind, like, because Fuzzy's like really wired to be a superhero, but um, was shortchanged, obviously, in the draw. Um, so he's like, they hitting women! <laughs> he thinks some moral fucking lightning bolt is gonna strike into his body and suddenly he's gonna get charged up and kick everybody out of the fucking way because his best friend got hit. This doesn't happen. We get our asses handed to us properly. And uh, yeah, what, what I mean, I can go on about this carnage. Um, it was, like, some of us were bleeding and puking at some point because we got our asses. Like, it, was just, it, was just, it was just bad. Um, so the cops come and I'm, like none of us have been that excited in our lives. We're like, oh, Mr. the policeman? <laughs> We've been waiting for you. <laughs> Thank you for coming to our aid. Oh, those are my car keys? That's my one thing? <laughs> Um, our, our ice cream was so bad that we got called the good guys because um, we all ordered good guy burgers and they got beaten up and had Ronda Bosch Cafe um, which was also a video store clear our debt all of us were in debt we went back we were like hey guys um, yeah so we've got the money and we were just mm. <laughs> It's okay. We're the ones who call the police. <laughs> Just couldn't deal with it anymore. Um, and with that, I end with no moral. <laughs>